at the core of everything that we build is a segment. A segment to us is a group of people. Now, we can build groups of people based on, honestly, any number of criteria. Let me give you a couple previews here. So if I go in and I look at a segment, we can create what's called a filter group, and we can build it based on an NFT. So ownership of an ETH or a Solana NFT. We can build it based on an NFT trait gate. Ownership of an NFT that happens to meet a specific trait criteria, like they have a white background or they have a cheetah fur or something like that, right? One of the properties with your NFT. Solana coin, right? A quantity or greater than a quantity of a certain Solana token. Um, a payment page, meaning they use Social Pay, which is our crypto payment solution. They use Social Pay and they paid using that engine. Stripe subscription, meaning they're using our merchant account, Stripe, and they have a paid subscription. A builder score, our builders, we track their scores. We track I don't know, a ton of KPIs across and we give them a score so we can build segments based on scores. We can build segments based on migration status when we went through our migration. We can build segments based on the fact that they're included or excluded from another segment, or we can build segments based on the TVL that's backed in Gary Coin. So we can build segments for all kinds of things. Important to understand at this point of this video is segments are groups of people. Now, we haven't been able to do a ton with segments up until this point. We've been able to take a group of people and put them into Searchy. So we could unlock a membership site for them. We've been able to take a group of people and register them for a live event with Obvio. That's the same technology that Tony Robbins uses. We've been able to take a group of people and give them a role in Discord, which is our community platform that we use. But that's been kind of the limitations of where we're at. Now, today, we're able to take a group of people and we're able to do much more. We're able to take a group of people. If I go ahead and just hit the back button here and go back into the segment. If you see, I'm the only person in this segment. I'm going to grab the wallet of someone else, and I'm going to add them to the segment. I want you to watch what happens here. It takes about five minutes. I'm going to add someone to the segment. So I just added Steve Ryan to the segment. Now what's going to happen, we use Zapier, and I'm going to show you what happens. I go here. Maybe it's Zapier, actually. Um, I always butcher that name. Um, I named it Gary Bob Test because I was just naming shit and trying to figure it out. But let me show you what happens. So when a new user is added to a segment, the 73 segment, the demo segment, right? When a new user is added to the segment, go do something. When this thing over here happens, when new users added to the segment, go do this thing. When someone buys a giraffe, go do this thing. When someone puts 100 Gary coin in their wallet, go do this thing. When someone mints my collectible, go do this thing. When someone pays me for this, go do this thing. When someone subscribes through Stripe, go do this thing. When this thing happens, go do this other thing. Okay, make sense? Perfect. So when someone enters a segment, go create a tweet. Now, I want a tweet coming out, and I want it to go to Gary Henderson. I want it to be on my Twitter and I wanted to put the first name in from this first step up here. So ever who that is, ever whose name that is, go ahead and um, do that for them right here. Now what will happen is I'm going to pull up my Twitter. Um, it's not here now. If you see right now, 59 minutes ago, I had this segment equals token ownership. It'll take it a few minutes. And in a few minutes, we're going to see that Steve, because that's who I added. If we go back here and we look Steve, it will tell me that Steve was just added. And it'll all happen automatically. You'll be watching me. You see it's not here, so it'll be magic for you. You'll watch me. I won't go post it. You will see. See, look, it's still not there. We'll go check it in, I don't know, maybe just a couple minutes. But before we do that, let's take a look in here, and let's go look at all the functionality that we can do now with having Zap Zapier and Social Connector locked in. Uh, let me oh, figure out why. There we go. Let me go to the dashboard. Let me go to this one right here, which is just a demo. Let me walk you through what this functionality actually looks like and what we can do with it. So I'm going to go through each of these steps really quickly. New custom payment via Social Pay. Social Pay is our crypto merchant account, and we have full developer API access for that. So if you want to process crypto payments, we have the technology built. We have a custodial wallet solution built, and everything's in place to do that. That's that function. Second function is paying through our sales pages. So we give you, if you want an easier way to do it and you want you know create a sales page and all those things, we give you the ability to do that. Um, these two new features are what we just added today. 
So new user in a segment, which is when someone new is added to a segment. That could be someone new. Our segments are dynamic. So it could be they own an NFT. They own X amount of a coin. They did this thing. They um, they received this airdrop. They um, have this certain builder score. Whatever it is, any dynamic criteria, they're in a segment. Um, go do this thing to them. Now, the thing could be anything you want. In my example, it's a tweet. But it could be assign a Discord role. It could be um, add them to Zoom. It could be send them an ebook. It could be put them in your HubSpot list or your, your MailChimp list. Or it could be really anything you want. Add them to your, uh, your Excel sheets, whatever you want. Wherever you want to take the data, you can take the data. And then when a user is removed from the segment. So let's pretend, for example, that we're tokenizing our community. We have Giraffe. And we say, when someone gets a giraffe, I want to do this thing with them. When they get rid of their giraffe, it's no longer in their wallet, I want to do this other thing with them. So we take care of both of those. Let's go see if we've tweeted about Steve yet. So Steve just joined a segment in Social Connector one minute ago. See, that happened automatically. You watched me. Now let's go here, back to Social Connector, all the way to the bottom. Let's go down here, and let's just delete Steve. Just going to delete Steve right there. Perfect. Just deleted Steve. He's out of there. Um, completely gone. So now, right, now that Steve's out of there and he's completely gone, now we'll run the other zap, which says when he's removed from a segment. So what this says is when Steve is removed from a segment. So when someone's removed from a segment, go do something else, which what I told it to do is go do a tweet. So I'm just showcasing this on Twitter. So go do this other tweet when someone's removed. So when they sell their tokens, when they no longer hold their tokens, remove them from the membership site. Don't make them eligible to shop at the store. Take their access away from this other thing. Anything you want across Web2. Zapier connects to over 5,800 apps. Over 5,800 applications it connects to. So when a new user is added to a segment or when a user is removed from a segment. Now, part of Zapier is we could put up here, we could put um, buy me a coffee, which a lot of people use. You could put anything you want. You could put MailChimp. You could put um, HubSpot. You could put anything you want. What's the event here? When someone does a purchase, right? So when someone does a purchase, what do I want to do? Now, this is the other side of Zapier. Zapier has two sides. When this happens at the top, so if this thing happens up here, right, that's the top. The bottom part is do this when this thing happens. So if this, then that. If this thing up here, if new purchase in Buy Me a Coffee, do this thing down here in Social Connector. Or the opposite. If this thing in Social Connector, do this thing somewhere else. So here we're going to say new purchase in Buy Me a Coffee. So someone purchases something. Then I want to come down here, and these are some new options we have here as well. We can add user to a segment. So we can add them directly to a segment if we want, push them directly in there, just as we could do manually, as I added Steve a moment ago. We can check to see if a user is in a segment. So if your application, your Web2 app, needs to verify that someone um, still owns their token, this would verify token ownership if you wanted to use it that way, and then remove from a segment. So they, they're, they're done for whatever reason. I want to remove them. Um, now, this gives you a lot of power. It gives you full access into doing airdrops and token gating your, your NFT mints and everything. So we added these three new options at the top. Add user to a segment, check and see if a user's in a segment, or remove a user from a segment. Our segment engine is the core of Social Connector. It is the most powerful thing that exists. It is dynamic, it's fully automatic, or it could be manual if you wanted. I'll give you examples. Um, you could come into Social Connector, and you could create a – so you could come in here and you could go to digital collectibles. You could go to an overview. You could create yourself a brand-new digital collectible. Let's call it a membership card to your community. You could do 100 of them. You could sell them each for $100 a piece. That would be $10,000. Right when they mint them and they own it, you could then say, I want to give you access to Teachable. I want to give you access to my membership site on, on Kajabi because you own – my NFT. So now you've just tokenized your course. You could say, for example, I want to sell you a membership to my fan club. I have a podcast and I have a fan club in my podcast. I could sell you a membership there. For example, um, it's $50 to become a member of the podcast fan club. Well, that's really cool. I'd like to be a member of the fan club. 
So I'll pay the 50 bucks and I'll join the fan club. And then I get an NFT dropped in my wallet. And it's the fan club membership for 2023. Next year in 2024, I need to renew. Well, why would I want it? Well, I, I own it. It's mine. I prove that I have access to it. I have the digital collectible. And now ownership of that digital collectible, as we showed you at the top, right? I can put ownership in if they own this collectible, add them to the segment. If they own this collectible, right here, I can go to our segment engine and I can say, if they own this collectible, if they own a Gary Club Creator Studio collectible, then add them to the segment. And the moment I do is the moment that I've tokenized my fan club. All powered by Social Connector, all point and click and easy to use, all at your disposal to use when you want, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let's go check and see if that other tweet went out for Steve. Hit the refresh button here. Definitely did. We are definitely not going to make it. Steve was just removed from the segment in Social Connector. So these happened automatically while I was showing you our segment engine over here and talking to you about Zapier and all the technology that we put together. This is available for every single creator in Gary Club. It's available to all of our builders that are using Social Connector. And it's available to all of our creators that are using Social Connector Pro. So if you're using the professional version of Social Connector or you're a builder and you're using Social Connector to build inside of your community, then this technology is available to you. It's really, really powerful. Every single month we have two sessions called Token Talk in our community where we go through tokenization, we go through what to do and how to unlock things. I'll screen share with you. I'll show you how to build like this. All you have to do is either grab builder access in our community or grab access to Social Connector Pro and we'll unlock all this tech for you. Have a great day, everyone.